this is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Visible. Sometimes it's useful to hide the image for a while and then show it again. What's this do this? For? Okay. You can do this using the visible property. The visible property is a little different from other properties you have seen in the past. It is a Boolean value, and that just means it's a true false. The sprite is visible or false, not visible. By default, visible is true. Yeah, by default, we can see the sprite. Oh, that's getting huge. Make a balloon pop when it hits the edge of the game area. Add a condition that checks to see whether the balloon has hit the edge. Use a watcher on balloon.scale to help out. Okay, so a watcher is just down here. Let me enable. And then balloon.scale. And all that does is let us track. It's just like debugging in professional software. Uh, balloon.scale plus, and it lets us track this variable. So notice that, and keep in mind, it's zero point means it's kind of like a percent. So right now the balloon is 25% its normal size, 30% its normal size. And we're just going to let it keep going until it hits the edge. Maybe here. So maybe 0.7. Okay, it's going to be somewhat up to us. I'll try 0.7. So create a pop sprite, which uses the pop visual in the animation tab. All right. Oh, yep, yeah, right there. Okay. So we're going to need to create a pop sprite. Got it. So we're creating a separate sprite for this. We're not just changing the animation. I wonder if that's because of scale, but I'm going to just call this pop. All right. And then I'm going to set the animation pop to our, oh, it's called pop too. Okay. Create a pop sprite, which uses the pop visible visual in the animation tab. Oh, wow. That's huge. So maybe we want to scale that down inside one property visible. Yes. All right. So to start off, then we want the sprite uh, pop hidden. So what we can do then is use this visible. And if I just drag it out, I don't need it in the draw loop because I just want to set it and leave it. So I'm going to set this visibility to false so we can't see it at all. And I don't need this in the draw loop. The draw loop runs 30 times a second. So I don't need to keep telling the computer 30 times a second, not visible, not visible, not visible. I can just set it to not visible. Now we're using the counter pattern. So as we can tell with this down here, what's going on is the balloon scale gets a new value, right? Hey, computer, balloon scale is going to be equal to whatever the balloon scale used to be equal to plus 0 0.001. And then it goes back around and again, it adds 0 0.001. It's like counting up on balloon scale by 0 0.001 each time. And keep in mind for scale, 1 is 100%, 2 is 200%, 0 0.5 would be 50%. So we need a conditional inside the if add two statements. Yes, so that would make sense. So we need an if, a conditional, we're checking if what? Well, if the balloon dot scale is greater than, and I was thinking 0 0.7, and we can change this, but if the scale is greater than 0 0.7, what are we going to have it do? We want to make sure that the balloon scale, we could also do equals equals. Equals equals can be more difficult if for some reason a split second goes by and the computer misses that exact value, it won't run. But we can do equals equals. Just make sure it's two equal signs um, and not one because one creates a variable or changes a value Two compares. We're asking, Hey, is the balloon scale equal to this? Okay. And then what are we going to do? We're going to use that sprite visible again, except if the balloon's that large, we want to hide our balloon. So balloon visible dot false. And then we want to show the pop pop visible dot true. Oh, I misspelled balloon. And let's hit run. So if we're watching down here, right at 0.7, it should change. Oop, and it skipped over 0.7 because it adds 0 0.1, which was my concern. So let's go ahead and do greater than. So if it's greater than that, and I actually might do 0.67. So if it skips over it, because how it's counting, if it never equals exactly 0.7, it would never become uh, the other one. So now anytime it's greater than 0.67 is what I changed it to, it should be pop. Boom. <laughs> uh, 
I love it. And then we can, of course, mess with this scale if we want this a bit smaller. I actually like the size of it. Cool. Balloon successfully popped. I guess I don't need the watcher. Onward.